to Trump's official supporters for fundraising to undermine election. Two of Donald Trump's top officials are facing subpoenas for an investigation against him regarding fundraiser following the 2020 election that aimed to undermine the result of the election. Stephen Miller, once one of the former U.S. president's most senior aides, and Brian Jack, his former director of political affairs at the White House, were part of a large group of Trump's official and allies. Who were subpoenaed by the grand jury this week? The New York Times reported. The current investigation is examining funds related to the Safe American Political Action Committee, and an alleged plan that would entitle sending fake electors to state that had contested result in the 2020 election. The PAC, which was created by Trump in November 2022. Shortly after election, is funded entirely by Republicans, and currently sitting on more than one hundred million dollars in fund, up from thirty-one million dollars in twenty twenty. Miller, who attracted notary during Trump's administration for his alleged link to white supremacists and his staunch anti-immigrant stance, participant. In allegedly test money earlier this year to the House Select Committee about Trump's role in fanning the flames of the January 6 attack on the Capitol. Prior to that, in December, Jack also faced a subpoena for his role in organizing a January 6 rally that led to the insurrection. Other on the list of the subpoenas issued this week includes official who were involved with the electoral scheme. In various decree, from junior aides to pro-Trump lawyer assisting in planning the scheme, as well as Republican lawmaker who are just Trump allies. While the subpoenas doesn't put the individuals directly under investigation, it is an action that the Department of Justice can take against an individual in order to try to gather further information in a case. According to the Times, this week subpoena. Is only the latest in a long string of allegations against an investigation of the former president. In the most recent episode, a raid in his Mar-a-Lago, Florida estates revealed he was in possession of documents he took from the White House during his departure in 2021. Document that even senior Biden aides did not have the access to view. In response. Trump last week chided the FBI and Department of Justice, accusing them being vicious monster under the control of the media and radical left scoundrels. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.